Mr. Carton, how do I make a line of best fit? Take your data. Its names might be dumb, bad, and silly, but you need to give it quantifiable aspects, some kind of number associated with each piece of your data here, that'll form your x-axis. The values that you measure, that'll form your y-axis. That'll be your output values. Highlight them all, just like that, including their names there. Uh, that is the, uh, the names of each kind of number. Insert chart. It'll suggest to you some kind of chart. Don't go with that. Go with scatter plot for our purposes, scatter. Okay, and now it has the X values down here. It has the Y values there. You make sure that they're labeled properly. They have units and such, uh, but that looks okay for at least displaying the data. To show a trend line, you go to customize, series, scroll down, hit trend line. Now there's a trend line. Often you may just want a linear one, but there are other kinds you could put there. Linear is fine for me. And I can even make it show the R squared. That is how well the trend line fits the data itself. And for the label on the trend line, you can even make it show you the equation that it's using. You could use that equation to predict where other things might be in your data. You know what I'm saying? You can use that to infer uh, where other data points could go if you were looking for them. There you go. That's how to make a trend line. Bye.